Soybean School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by BSF Canada and Syngenta Canada. Hi, I'm Bernard Tobin. Welcome to the Soybean School. You know, every year growers make seed choices based on a host of factors. Um, one of the key decisions they make is whether to plant long season varieties, adapted varieties, or shorter season varieties. Now, many growers target those longer season varieties and an earlier planting date, you know, to try to increase yield. But does that strategy really work? Well, that's a question my guest, University of Guelph research scientist, Dr. Dave Hooker, tackled in a presentation at the Ontario Agricultural Conference. Hi, Dave. Hey, thanks for stopping by. Great to have you on the Soybean School. Hey, good to be here again, Brent. Hey, Dave, what advantage are we hoping to gain when, you know, when we plant a long season variety early in the season? Yeah, well, um, I, I think that management needs to be flexible according to whatever opportunities Mother Nature does give us. And so this is one of the reasons why we need to explore different management strategies depending if Mother Nature smiles down us or not. For instance, giving us maybe an early planting window. And so um, Horst Bonner and I and, and others have done a tremendous amount of work in looking into this planting date by maturity um, of different soybean varieties. And our hypothesis was uh, at the beginning that the later, if you plant a later maturing soybean so let's say a maturity group that is maybe 0.5 or one full maturity group later than what is full season so that's very important full season means like an adaptive variety but a later or a long season is about probably we would say about a half a maturity group more than our adapted or full season so if we planted this ultra early maybe there's an additional yield benefit that's what her hypothesis was through this big study that we had we had nine site years multiple varieties at each site and these sites um they were from uh, like ridgetown area alora and winchester and we all had adapted long season and short season varieties in each one of those and what we found out was that the long season really did not perform as well as we thought compared to adopted. Yeah, I'm going to put I'm going to put that data up in a second, Dave. But before we get there, you know, many growers like to stick to adapted varieties um, for their region in their area. You know, what are they getting when they plant an adapted variety? Yeah, well, those adapted varieties they're adapted because breeders determined that they were ideally suited for a particular environment, and so. And of course, yield stability, you know, across like within this environment is very important for variety. As soon as a variety is taken out of its area of adaptation, um, we probably there's an, we are introducing some, some instability or there's some unknown if a variety is taken out of its area of adaption. And theoretically, like as we talked about, a long season variety could pose some benefits, some yield benefits, but we're also introducing some risk. And some of that risk is unknown, depending on the weather, of course, within okay. the season. Now, I'm going to put up this slide. Now, you you caught a, a lot of growers' attention when you shared this slide um, at the conference earlier this winter. It really does make a strong case for sticking with adaptive varieties. You know, what are we seeing here, Dave? Yeah, I think, I think it just really underlines, you know, the effect that, you know, a long season variety, even though that it makes sense, like logically, if we plant a long season variety, that long season would take advantage, you know, the, of the extra long growing season and that we could um, increase the yields. But we didn't see that. We saw that the adaptive varieties were still um, like very similar. Maybe they yielded a little bit more numerically, but they weren't. Um, statistically different, at least, than the long season. And by growing an adaptive variety, that if you plant it ultra early, we still have the highest yields, but then we can take that adaptive variety, We can it will mature a little bit earlier too than a long season would. 
And so every management decision we have always has a consequence. And if we choose a long season variety, if we plant it early, we are kind of giving up that early harvest, which is very important, of course, for getting the weed in. Mm. Now, Dave, are you in, were you surprised by these results? Because, but because I, I think you were. I mean, like, I mean, I mean, that should be a winning environment for those those longer season beans to to show off their potential. You know, you know, any thoughts on you know why they're losing that race? They a race they probably should win. Yeah, so we had we had nine environment or nine site years with a study, multiple varieties. And so if I just saw this in one or two site years, you know, at the maybe one year of trials, I would say, well, it was just due to the year. But because the results are quite consistent from site year to site year across number of environments, um, we would have to say that, you know, maybe we'd have a bigger probability of success still with sticking to our adaptive varieties rather than going to a long season variety. And But I think that this also can lead to more research because we only looked at, you know, a, just a, a few long season varieties. We didn't look at all the long season varieties. We just looked at a few within each or location. So maybe our results or our data may be constrained a little bit, mm -hmm. you know, to the varieties that those long season varieties that we did choose. And we're not saying that, you know, um, if we pick a certain long season variety, we're not saying that, you know, that will always yield less than an adaptive variety because there still could be potential there for some long season varieties, you know, to do better in um in an area that maybe that they're not quite adapted in yeah. but our results are quite consistent at least that our adaptive varieties are doing very well and if we plant them ultra early that means that we can harvest them earlier as well and so that that's a kind of an exciting thing too when we look at the cropping system yeah well hey dave um some great insights um always appreciate you making some time for the soybean school Oh, thanks. Great to be here, as usual. <laughs>